Hi everyone, how are you doing? This is Mako again, back with another video, and this time I'll be taking a look at an Android related to the subject of my previous video. Remember when I said that Ichigo Hito Free was considered as the big brother of some of the swords in the game Token Ranbu? Well, this guy here, Nendroid number 594, Yagen Toshiro, is one of those brothers. But before I introduce him to you guys, just in case you'll be interested where I got him, <laughs> well, I'm sure you can already guess where if you've seen some of my previous videos. So yes, you are correct. I pre-ordered him from Habai Toy Store. They're an online shop on eBay and Facebook. In case you live in the Philippines and would like to contact them, I will leave links in the description box below. And now for Yagen Toshima, he is one of the more popular tantos, a kind of a short blade or dagger in the web browser and now mobile game Token Ranbu. Just like Ichigo Hitofuri, he was also made by the master swordsmith Awataguchi Yoshimitsu. Another similarity that they share, surprisingly, or maybe not really, is that they are both considered by fans as older brothers of some of the swords in the game. This is due to Yagen's lines giving him a more uh, matured and responsible personality. Personally, I think his voice sounding really deep kind of adds to that as well. Yagen got his name when one of his owners, a samurai who was forced to take his life by committing harakiri using the dagger, could not pierce his stomach deep enough no matter how much he tried. And in frustration, tossed the short blade into a yagen or a stone mill for medicinal herbs, which the blade sliced right through. Because of this incident, he was regarded as a sword of uh, loyalty, sharp enough to slice through objects but will never damage or harm its master. Unfortunately, there is a possibility that the short blade Yagen Toshiro does not exist anymore as there are some who believe that it perished with its last known master, the legendary warlord Oda Nobunaga in a great fire. Well, I guess, lucky for us fans, he is now one of the obtainable swords in Token Ranbu as well as a Nendoroid released by Gitsma Company under their Orange Rouge brand. Let's take a look at the box that he came with. This is how it looks like, same as the usual Nandroid boxes with a large window to see the figure inside. His name and the Nandroid number are both indicated on the bottom left corner of the box, while a close-up of the figure is on the bottom right. So here is the front of the box, one of the sides, back, the other side the top the bottom is the list of parts and instructions that Yagen comes with. This one is in Japanese. He came with a simple background with his Nandroid number indicated like so. Same as the other token Ranbu Nandroids, Yagen Toshiro has a special round base with his symbol or crest. He also came with a stand and, of course, a spare neck joint. And despite not having a lot of special accessories, he came with five extra arms and a bent leg. They also included a pair of very tiny scissors that Yagen keeps in his waist pouch from the original character design. I have to point out that you have to be careful not to lose the scissors because it's super tiny. Of course, since Token Ranbu is a game about swords, Yagen Toshiro also came with two short swords, one sheath and one unsheath. As for his face plates, he has two alternate expressions. The one on the right is his combat expression, while the one on the left shows his smug smile that you can just imagine him wearing while saying his lines in the game. Here we have the main figure of Yagen Toshiro. basic 
articulation so you can move his head up and down left and right just be careful because there are some restrictions because of his hair you can move his arms from the shoulder for his legs you can move them up and down and left and right By the way, you can move, remove this part. But there are no joints on his waist. Okay, final thoughts about Yagen. One thing that caught my attention right away was the shading on his hair. Sadly, I don't think it's noticeable on my video because the quality of my camera is pretty low. But the shading they did on his hair looks amazing. There were paint flaws on his clothes, mostly just paint bleeding. But they're pretty insignificant. Most, if not all, aren't even noticeable if you're not looking carefully. One thing I like about the paint job was the different textures they created. The kind of paint they used for his clothes is different from the ones they used on his uh, shoulder armor, making it appear glossy. Oh, and speaking of the shoulder armor, just to note that he only has one, so you'll need to remove it and attach it to the arm that you'll be using. Don't worry because there's a peg there that you can attach to the arm. He doesn't have a lot of accessories, but the alternate parts that he came with allow you to put him in dynamic poses. It kind of reminds me of the hiking androids that have poses that show movement, instead of, you know, just standing still. It can get confusing though, it took me some time to figure out which arm to use for a particular pose, but I think that's all part of playing with these nandroids, <laughs> figuring out which goes where. You just need to be extra careful not to lose the very tiny scissors that he came with. I think it's extremely easy to misplace it because of how small it is. All in all, I think he is an android that people should consider getting, especially fans of the game. Yagen Toshiro definitely has his own charm that makes me glad that I can add him to my collection. But what do you guys think about this figure? Are there things that you think Good Smile Company could have improved on? Well, let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and hope to see you again next time. Bye!